some of you is standing room only, but we go ahead and get started with our program. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome on behalf of Commissioner Lake Cupid, soon to be Commissioner Cupid. So it's a great day for Cobb and certainly a way to begin a new year. But I would also like to welcome all of you, all of you are special guests. Uh, but I want to introduce her fellow board members. We got Chairman Lee, <laughs> Commissioner Helen Gorham, <laughs> Commissioner Bobot, <laughs> Commissioner Joanne Burrell. We have possibly some other elected officials that we have in attendance. Would you be, please stand and be recognized? And Councilman Coleman, Judge Rogers, and Mr. Johnson. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and get on with the program. And I'm going to ask Reverend Ruth Negron to come up and uh, deliver our invocation. Welcome back. You've been in this house before, I say. Thank you. I'm going to pass this to you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be home. Someone just asked me, are you coming back to work? I said, no, I'm working, but not yet. All right, I, I want us to all stand. We're going to do an invocation, prayer. And if you may want to close your eyes or just, just meditate. Heavenly Father, our creator and God, your words say in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, First of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving thanks be made to all men for the kings and for all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. We come before you, Father, in the name of Jesus, in behalf of our newly elected Honorable Commissioner Lisa Cupid. We give you thanks for this great honor and privilege you grant us today. Surround Commissioner Cupid and her administration, her family, her children, with men and women whose heart is intended to do your will. For we know, Father, you're able and you're willing to work through faithful leadership to restore stability in our communities. We thank you for the empowering of Commissioner Cupid as our fourth district commissioner of Cobb County. We pray that she will inspire our communities to work together to achieve more in a spirit of unity and to offer our support to our county and state and nation. And now, Father, in this complex arena of human relationships, we give and ask for her to gain wisdom, to make the right choices, grant her insight and revelation to rule with fairness and justice, give her the strength and the courage Allow her not to worry and become weary in the difficult days ahead. We know you will not leave her alone. Shelter her with your hands of power and keep her in your heart of love. May her heart beat with compassion, her hands be strong in reaching out to, to lift up those who stumble. I thank you for your fulfillment, for your plan on this earth. And we call out to a spirit of truth to operate and come out of our office, of our corporations, of our organizations in the county, in the cities, and in this nation. And that we may, and that we, and that any spirit against the spirit of truth may be exposed. I ask that our leaderships around the world acknowledge their need for a relationship with you, accepting your word as their guidance of direction of understanding, and of righteous judgment. And as we leave this county facility today, help us to hold the spirit of oneness. Let us take that back home with us, to our workplace, to our schools, to our churches, to our temples, and wherever we seek your will. And let all those who believe in God's justice, in his love, and his mercy say amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Negron. Now we're going to have a special appearance by stages of early learning enrichment center out of Ostel uh, to present our flag, Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the school oath, stage of early learning enrichment center. And then we will have our national anthem sung by Miss Lisa Green in a time to live music. Okay, I will. 
also as they get prepared, Miss Cupid children are also a part of delivering this. Uh, so he wants Mama to go out there with him, I think. Here you go. There you go. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great, let's get him another big round of applause. Great job, great job. Boy, I couldn't have done that at your age, I assure you. That was great. Miss Lisa Green. That was great. Good job, me and Michael Sally. Good. Time to live music. Thank you. Oh, stay, can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave thank you beautifully done at this time, I'm going to ask uh, Commissioner Cupid to come forward, recognize our family, friends, uh, campaign staff, and uh, followed by the oath being administered by Superior Court Judge Honorable Greg Poole. Right. Yes, am I? I am. Thank you. Thank you, Manager Hankerson. I am absolutely overwhelmed by all of you who are here today. I'm humbled. Um, of your presence and your willingness to share this occasion with me. Dreams like this, they start out in the heart and they culminate into the ability to impact a community. And one of the blessings of this is that I've had the opportunity to see my family come together throughout this. Um, for the past five, six years, I've been pretty active with children and going to school. And sometimes I feel remiss at my inability to be there for them, particularly considering how much they've been here for me. And I remember the night of my primary looking around the room and seeing so many of my family members present. And before any election result came in, I felt like a winner because my family was there, and I saw how hard we had to work together. So I want to acknowledge you publicly in front of everyone today. There are so many people who are here today. Um, so if I have family that I do not see from here, I'm going to ask for you to eventually stand. But I first want to acknowledge my husband, Craig Cupid. <laughs> I thank you for all of your sacrifice, your labor of love, 
your constant encouragement and constant endurance of all that has transpired. And acknowledge before all of you, even though he hates when I do this, is to say that he saw this before I could even fathom it. That he encouraged me to run for office at a time in my life where it seemed very far-fetched from me. And I am very um, blessed to have you, to have that type of foresight for me in my life, and just thank you for all that you've done. <laughs> I also want to acknowledge my beautiful children here with stages um, who probably are wondering why they can't stand up with here, up here with mommy. And they're doing a very good job, a very good job. But they've also sacrificed a lot too to have parents who would have nerve to both go back to school at the same time and just stretch ourselves beyond um, what we could even imagine. And we hope and pray that God's grace will cover them for the times that we could not be there when we wanted to, but that they will also be stretched to be the best that they can be. So, Nehemiah and Noah, thank you so much for all of your help. <laughs> also want to acknowledge my mother and father who are here. Um, I can't repay any debt of gratitude for the work that had begun before I came here but certainly want to thank you so much for all of the seeds that you've sown into my life and my sister's lives, my family's lives, my children's lives, and know that I could not have done this without your support. And I'll make a comment towards my parents, um, but it'll be in, in connection with comments towards some other family members. I have my sister Jessica here. If, I'd like to also acknowledge who played every role on a campaign from manager to volunteer coordinator and everything else, and particularly a confidant. Thank you for being here um, for my children and for my family and being supportive. Other family members, I cannot begin to express all that you've done through making donations, through calling people on the phone, through um, joining in the um, 2012 weight loss challenge by walking neighborhoods and knocking on doors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, many people said, we saw you on this corner, we saw you on that corner. A lot of times you saw a piece of me because it was a part, it could have been a family member on the <clears> corner, <throat> but just thank you so much. And if all of you can just stand to be um, formally recognized, I would like to acknowledge you again. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. I could call all you by name, Aunt Helena, Aunt Charmaine, Rhonda, Marva, just thank you so much for all of your help to Sandra. And I'm sure I may have missed some others here in the room. Other people that I would like to thank, and again, just being as busy as I have been, one of the worst weights on my heart is to feel as if I don't give people their proper due and acknowledgement. And for so many people who've um, dedicated themselves to this effort. I just want to formally and publicly say thank you, but know that there is still time for me to come up and individually thank you, and, and that will take place sometime during this year. We'll probably do something for all of our volunteers. But if you've actively volunteered on the campaign, if you can just wave your hand and stand up, I just want to acknowledge you from up here and say thank you so much. This is your, this is your doing. <laughs> I'd also like to thank my assistant, Salima Johnson, who started off with me on the campaign. And I thank you for dedicating yourself far beyond you knew what, far beyond um, what you knew you were getting yourself into. Thank you for sharing yourself and your family with me and for helping me on this journey. Um, before we proceed to the oath, I have a couple of family members who would also like to share some words, starting with my husband, Craig Cupid. Oh, excuse me, before I do that, I apologize, honey. I also wanted to acknowledge our grassroots leaders and our community leaders. I resonate so much with what you do that goes under the radar. And sometimes it's, un it's unpopular to serve those areas which go underserved. Sometimes it's not thanked for you to do the work that you commit yourself to doing on top of your commitment to your families, your commitment to your um, church, to your job. And for those of you who may serve in a grassroots organization, um, for those of you who may work in an HOA, for those of you who may work in community coalitions, for, I see here we have our 
um, president of our NAACP, it's sometimes very difficult when you give your life to serving and to not be credited and to also not see the progress that you want to see. But know that without your work, things wouldn't even be where they are. So I thank you and just know that I dedicate myself to connecting with you and all of us working together as we improve um, District 4. Finally, I'd like to call up my, my husband and after him my father who would like to share some words. Yeah, um, my words will be short. Um, I have a few prepared remarks here, but um, um, just want to again say thank you to everyone for attending this joyous occasion. I, I give glory and thanks to God for this day. Um, this is definitely a moment that the Cupid family is proud of, the, the Smith family and all our, um, our relatives are proud of. Um, but I think more importantly, uh, I would say that this day, this occasion, this election is a positive defining moment for the residents of District 4 and all of Cobb County. Um, when I met Lisa close to 16 years ago at Georgia Tech um, at a leadership um, retreat, I knew there was something special about her. Um, uh, yes, she is stunningly beautiful, <laughs> but <laughs> um, before and during our marriage and uh, as well as from stories of her accomplishments before we even met, um, it was undeniable that her beauty was definitely more than skin deep. It, it came from a source, well, it was just a part of her, a part of her being, a part of her spirit. And she truly has a heart for people. And with that compassionate heart comes a, a mix of determination, intelligence, will, and an ability to get results that is, is rarely matched. Um, she is definitely a force. And uh, I'll keep my comments short. Um, I'll, I'll say by, by no means will Commissioner Cupid or is she perfect? Mm -hmm. uh, she will have her, 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 her share of setbacks and challenges. But I do believe with all my being, with your support, with your prayers, and with her leaning on God for guidance and wisdom, Cobb County will continue to move in the right direction. Thank you. And the residents of District 4 and all of Cobb County um, will be appreciative. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, isn't Lisa great? <laughs> I sat here and I keep looking at her and uh, yes, I'm proud that she's my daughter, but she is great. And I want to make a special acknowledgement to Ms. Green over here who sang for us. And the reason I want to say that is I watched these girls in high school and I was driving a car sitting in front and listening to the chatter behind in the back seat. And as I sat here, as I am here today, I am astonished at where they are right now. Hmm. But just to give you a little background about Lisa, and I promise I won't embarrass you. <laughs> but um, Lisa is full of surprises. She has never lost an election. And this is not the only one that she has <laughs> participated in. But she and her sister ran for offices in kindergarten. <laughs> She ran for vice president of the school, and she won. <laughs> then she moved on to high school, and she became class president. Mm. But one of the things that astonished her mom and I the most was one day we were in the, um, walking through the mall, and I think Lisa said that time, I don't know, I can't remember, it was like six or seven or eight, somewhere around there. And there was a spelling bee. And, you know, I never participated with them in any spelling bee competition or anything like that. But she said, Dad, I want to do it. So I said, fine, whatever, fine. 
And I watched my child get up there with, stu with students from all over the city that we were living in, in the best, some of the best public schools and some of the best private schools. And I watched my little girl. She didn't win, but she bought second. Mm -hmm. And it just astonished me that this little girl, I thought she was unprepared for that moment, but she wasn't. So, um, Lisa astonishments or Lisa accomplishments does not phase me uh, that much anymore. When she came and she told me she wanted to run for county office, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't pay it much mind. I know she was, um, I know she was persistent, but I wasn't sure where that was going to take us. But as she embarked on the campaign trail, she was fierce, as she always has been. She was, has excellent people skills that she still has. <laughs> and she can, she has the ability to ha change your mind. And I am ast astonished as I watch her um, grow and accomplish the things in the campaign. I can remember on the primary, when we were unsure of what was going to happen, um, when we realized that at, she, she was going to bring first in the primary, I just had to sit in my car and, and thank God that, mm -hmm. that she's accomplishing what she really wants to do. In a runoff, on the day of the runoff is when I found her most concerned about whether she was going to win or lose. And I can remember telling her that regardless of what the outcome is, we still love you. But we went to the place where we were, the precinct where we were, sh sure we weren't going to get the maximum votes. And when we saw the results, she won. Mm -hmm. And from that precinct, I knew that she had won the election. Um, but she is an amazing person. She always accomplished what she sets out to do. She is a great mom. I don't know how she um, managed the two kids, go to school for two degrees at the same time, and still come out winning. Mm. Um, I'm proud of her. But there's one thing I said at the beginning of her journey to winning, winning this office. Um, at, our first, um, at our first public meeting, I mentioned that Lisa is, if she's, she's a game changer. And I just want to, I just want to, I just want to change that a, a little bit. She will be a positive game, cha game changer for Cobb County District 4. Proud of her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Smith, and thank you, Craig Cupid. After this day, you'll be known as Lisa, Commissioner Cupid's husband, and Commissioner Cupid's father. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and ask the judge and, and uh, Commissioner yeah. Lake Cupid to come forward for the uh, oath of office. How do you want to stand? Uh, how do you want to stand? We can stand up right here. You can do it on there. Put your left hand on the Bible. Okay. Best you can. Okay. And raise your right hand the best you can. There, there, are, there are two oaths. <laughs> Simon says. Mm. Okay. Come here, babe. Stand right here, babe. Stand right here. Shh. I've got juvenile court experience. It's all right. <laughs> I, Lucy Cupid, do swear and affirm that I will truly and well discharge the duties of Commissioner for Cobb County in all matters which require my official action to the best of my knowledge and skill, and that I will so act in my judgment will be the most conductive to the welfare best interest of the entire county. I do further solemnly swear or affirm that I am the holder of no unaccounted for public money due this state or any political subdivision or authority thereof 
that I am not a holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States, any other state, any foreign state, which I am prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia, and that I am otherwise qualified to hold this office according to the Constitution of the United States and the laws of the state of Georgia, and that I will support the constitutions of the United States and this state and that I have been a resident of Cobb County, Georgia for the time required by the Constitution and the laws of the state of Georgia. If you agree to be so bound, will you say so help me God? Yes, so help me God. Well, then we have one more oath. This is the loyalty oath. I, Lisa Cupid, a citizen of Cobb County, Georgia, and being an employee of Cobb County and the Board of Commissioners and the recipient of public funds for services rendered as such employee, do hereby solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Georgia. If you agree to be so bound, will you say, so help me God? So help me God. Congratulations, Madam. Thank you, Judge Paul. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this. Thank you. Oh, what fun, what fun. Oh, my goodness. You're a wonderful Thank person. You. Thank you, Wonderful. Thank you. All right. This is why I work out. <laughs> but truly, it is an honor to be here today. And my palm comments may be more brief because I have two weights in my arms. But these two weights are a part of the big reason why I chose to embark on this journey. My husband and I, we've lived in Cobb County for between about 10 and 15 years. And it wasn't until I had my second child that I see that I could not be passive about his future here, and I just wanted to see my children live in a better community than what I had been living in, and know that this is not just something for my children, but for other families who invest themselves here in Cobb County. We, we want to see a better community for all of us. And I thank you, and as my husband stated, no, this is not going to be a perfect journey. Where I live, we have issues that are not perfect. And I recognize that when you live in a place like where I live, and you're in the midst of so much accomplishment, you're in the midst of one of the best run counties here in Georgia, here within the state, and you look around and you see contradiction to that promise, it makes it difficult, and it makes addressing some of those issues messy. It makes it uncomfortable. But I know that we will not become a better county we will not become a better community unless we're willing to address those issues head on. You know, our county motto is to expect the best. And I think the best should be expected by all of us. And that is what my desire is, is to make sure that that motto is perceived and achieved by all of us who are here. I ask for your grace. I ask for your help in the pursuit of accomplishing that. And I know that over the next four years, we have tremendous opportunity to take steps forward. So I thank you for being here today. I thank you for sharing this moment with me, for bearing with me. Know that as challenging as it is up here, that i much rather if we see our children here participating in events like this, instead of seeing themselves left out of a process which is supposed to be here for them. And you know, as I say one more thing too. You know, it is odd to be, 35 years young and embarking on this, but I feel we have so much potential to look into our future and see that we want to leave this place better for those who are behind us. And I just ask again that you help me to do that for this county so that we can continue to move um, this area forward as it has been before me. So thank you, commissioners. I appreciate all of you being here. I look forward to working with you and helping to make Cobb County continue to be great. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations. What a way to begin a year with this type of support. And thank you. Uh, Commissioner Cupid is going to have a reception across the hall in the Learning Center so she can spend some time with you with her family, friends, and supporters. With that, thank you for coming. You honor her with your presence today, and let's have a great day. Thank you.